In this video, I am styling my coffee bar for Valentine's Day. So if you want to see what I've got going on, keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe. Because I do videos about those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But definitely check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'll link my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's jump into it. I've got all my Christmas decor down and I do miss having a little bit of color on the countertop. And my style, my colors issued a challenge to style your coffee bar for Valentine's Day. And I really don't have much of a coffee bar. I just have a little bit of a space where I normally would have my curry and a few coffee items and, I, and I've taken them all down. This is how I styled my coffee bar at Christmas time. So I decided it might be fun to go ahead and just zhuzh it up for Valentine's Day. Now I've already cleaned the cabinet because my morning routine is done. But I'll just go ahead now and style out the coffee bar and just let you see how I do that. This is what my coffee area is looking like right now. I just put this two-tier tray here just to have somewhere to sit it. I've got some packets of hot chocolate here in this container for my husband to grab in the morning. My Keurig's there in the corner. And then now that it's winter, I'm putting more baked goods out. So I'll often have some kind of bakery items in here. I just haven't put my little dog away from the Christmas season. I just like having him up on the counter, but he's really not a cookie jar. He's not sealed, so I really can't put cookies in there and expect them to stay fresh. And then there's just other stuff on my counter. So let me go ahead and just kind of rearrange this now for a coffee bar. And this is the tray I thought I would like to use for this. It's nice and long, but it's not too wide, so it shouldn't take up too much space on my space on my counter. I don't have a lot of counter space, so every bit of it is prime real estate. And this tray is long enough that I can set these items on the end of it. And then I have two coffee mugs that just say love on them. Just simple as that, just says love. And I picked these up at Target, but they'll be perfect for just the two of us because there's only the two of us here, so I only needed two mugs. And I have these red polka dot plates. I got them last year after Valentine's Day thinking they might come in handy for Valentine's Day this year. And I have six of them, but I'm only going to put four of them in the tray. That way, if we have a baked good or a pastry that we want to use in the morning, we can grab a plate and it's handy. So I'm going to set up this little plate rack. few more items I want to see if I can use. I picked this little sign up that says um, sending you love at a thrift shop for 35 cents and I just thought it was perfect. I was thinking I'd like to put it on the wall like maybe right there and then I found this cute little children's book and it just says happy Valentine's Day mouse and it was for 25 cents at the same thrift shop. And this I picked up at Kroger when I was getting groceries the other day and it says love shack. So we'll see what I can do with this. But now this little cake stand I've had for a little over a year and I got it at the after Christmas sale last year and I used it at Christmas time this year. But I'm thinking maybe I'll put this here and give that cup a little bit of height.
And let's see. Let me get the tag off of it. And I'll put that right there. I don't think this is going to fit. Let's see. No. I'll just set that over there for now. But Let me get something to apply this with. Just putting a little painter's tape on the back. Painter's tape comes off the wall easily and it doesn't affect the paint. And I think I want there. I'm thinking that cup is a little low. It needs something to lift it up just a bit. So here's my style coffee bar. I've got packets of hot chocolate right here. Behind them, I've got some breakfast cookies and other sweets that my husband likes to have in the morning with his hot chocolate. Here's some plates that we can just grab one if we want to use. And then of course, two mugs. Now the other thing that we were supposed to do was have a loving message. And so here's my loving message, sending you love. And then right behind that, there's a little card that I used to have in my planner. And I took it out to put on this coffee bar. And it just says, you are the marshmallows in my hot chocolate. And you can see there's like a little heart on it. And then here are like some uh, cinnamon sticks and there's like marshmallows. It's a 3D card. And then I've got a little note written inside. And I had actually used this card for him at another time. So I thought this would be a great time to bring it out again. And I ended up just setting the Love Shack right here on the counter. It just adds a little bit of color right next to my Vitamix. So you've got the red and you can see what my color scheme is. And this drawer is also a part of my beverage station. I've got napkins here. I've got trivets for people to use with their tea bags. Various kinds of teas. Some sugar-free hot chocolate mix here. And again, more teas. And then back here is my little K-Cups. So when I need to grab a cake cup, I just grab it out of the drawer, pop it in the Keurig, and I'm good to go. And over there is various sweeteners. Two or three different kinds to try to accommodate different people's tastes. So now, let me take this opportunity to thank My Style, My Colors for issuing this challenge to just zhuzh up our coffee bars just a little bit for Valentine's Day. She was on the right track because she knew that after everyone was done with Christmas and had put all those decorations away, they probably would be just a little bit hesitant to do anything for Valentine's Day. And I am so glad I did. It gives me just a hint of color on the cabinet. It's not too much. It's not taking up too much space but it is certainly something that gives me a pl something pleasant to look at as I go about my day. So thank you, My Style, My Colors. If you're not familiar with her channel, I will link it below so you can go over there and take a look at it to see what kind of things she has going on over there. She is a true artist, so you will like some of the things that you find there. And don't forget, my Go Red Challenge goes live on February 1st. So I hope you're thinking about what you can do to join me in raising awareness that heart disease is the number one killer in America and the number one killer of women, even more so than all forms of cancer combined. 
And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.